Ms. Misha Marchin Omalior, as Boyan Faru in a Falsha, Korov, Heg Sky and Ear her, Fiha Fiha. I'm Marchin Omalior, and I want to welcome you all to the Best of the West 2020, and what a year 2020 has been. I want to thank our sponsors who signed up to make this virtual Best of the West possible, led by the Glider, of course, but also including our friends at Spac Savers in the Park Centre. Uh, the Glenwood Business Centre up in Poglas, Concentrics, of course, Hutamaki, the Better GLL Leisure Centres and Salon Supplies. But most of all, I want to thank the people of West Belfast, that strong, ebullient, resilient community of West Belfast who started the 2020 Best of the West in normality and have continued with it in this most bizarre of times. The phrase, all in this together, in this together, was invented in West Belfast, and it's a reason why we're going to ensure that we come through this pandemic, that we survive and we emerge better, we come back better, we come back stronger and better in the time ahead. You know, West Belfast, for my money, is the strongest and best community in Ireland, and I'm absolutely certain we can bet on its success and progress in the time ahead. No matter how high the COVID mountain we must climb, in fact, we say in West Belfast, the only time we're beat was when we weren't there. So uh, let's make sure we make that our motto and our principle and our guiding light in the time ahead, all in this together. Boilam and Ish Tush Kartakar Lesson Kelluru, Kelluru at Tilchogin, August Falcha War a Kur Riven, an E special to Lesson Compare Tugging and Oct. I want to get things off to a glorious start by welcoming Lynette Fay from the BBC, who's going to be our compare tonight. So Lynette, to Falcha Road. Gurmila Maigat Awarching, Augusta Falcher with Ahanya, Ata Agarkasha Hanok Foster, Higgin Okad Special to Shaw, Sky and Yeher, Aves Achaluri, Ogin, Gikon Urgale, Nomarshan, Trunona, Shaw and Hinya. What a way to celebrate a Friday night, folks. I'm sure you'd all prefer to be dolled up and at an event and uh, celebrating with the proper knees up. But we're going to do things differently this year. We're going to do things virtually. So let me tell you how it's going to work. For the next 90 minutes from our studio here at Nyavak, we will be introducing you to the shortlisted nominees. Now, they all deserve massive congratulations. And then we'll be joined by our sponsors, some from their homes, some will be joining while social distancing here in studio. And then we'll announce the winner of each category and I hope that some of the winners will join us as well so that we can have a wee chat with them this evening and then we're going to round off the night with four very special awards for community heroes of the pandemic exceptional individuals who have gone the extra mile above and beyond for the community during the COVID crisis. But before we move to the categories this evening, folks, let me introduce Sean McGreevy from our premier partner, The Glider, to set the scene. Thanks, Lynette, and good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be here once again on behalf of TransLink on this somewhat historic occasion as Best of the West goes virtual. I think we'd all prefer to be together as usual for the big annual event we all look forward to, but for obvious reasons, it's just not possible this time around. Which is why I want to give you a big fair play to Belfast Media Group, who wouldn't let the pandemic beat us. Their hard work and resilience have ensured that this event went ahead despite these challenging times. It's pretty obvious to say that no one is getting it easy at the minute, either individuals or businesses, which makes it all the more gratifying to see that West Belfast, even in the middle of all this, still has so much to offer. It's more important than ever that we recognise all those unsung heroes that have supported our community through the good times and now through this unthinkable pandemic. Like all of you, TransLink qu quickly responded to the emergency with our frontline workers providing essential journeys and assuring safety is always the top priority. Not only did our staff keep services running, they also did so much more above and beyond the call of duty. From providing special shuttles for healthcare workers to food and care packages for vulnerable people in the community. I'm hugely proud of all my colleagues in TransLink for their kindness and generosity. And if any good has come from COVID-19, it's been the show of community spirit and the unity of purpose to keep everyone safe, protected and on the move. I'm also really grateful to all the people who helped out earlier this year with our social media campaign on using public transport safety during COVID. West Belfast really came to the party on this one and it was genuinely humbling to have this level of support rallied behind us. Finally, thank all of you who use our services. Your support and patience during this period means so much and we hope you'll continue to with, with us on this, this journey through recovery until we can all be together properly once again. So look, I'm going to get out of the way here because tonight's not about gliders and buses, it's about celebrating what makes this part of the town so rich and so special. There's clearly an appetite amongst the people who live and work here to recognise the highlights. 
This year's total vote was well in excess of 700,000. So if any encouragement were needed to keep doing what you're doing, this is it. Whether it's a business, an individual worker, a singer, a DJ, sports club, or my own favourite, a humble, or maybe not so humble, Fry. Genuinely, congratulations to everyone who's been shortlisted. Thank you for doing what you do and for making such a positive difference. Finally, good luck, everyone. Enjoy the night and all the celebrations, be the virtual and other ways. Big Islan, August Goromagov. Agus Mila Boy has Lyatsa, Hyang Mila Boy has Ashin, and uh, we'll go to our first award of the night, and this is for the best visitor attraction on the West Belfast Glider Route Award, sponsored by Translink. And Sean McGreevy is going to stay with me to announce the winner of this group award. So, our shortlisted nominees are Clonard Monastery, a place of refuge and support for the people of the West for over a century now. Roar and Explore, the fantastic family fun centre at Derry Farm. We'll get a clip there, that's it, Roar and Explore. And our third nominee, Colin Glen Forest Park, Ireland's leading outdoor adventure and recreation hub. Over to you, Sean. The winner is Clonard Monastery. Woohoo! We'll have virtual applause there for Clonard Monastery. And hopefully by the power of technology, we have Father Pete Burns with us on the line. And there he is up on the screen behind me. Hello, good evening, Father. Congratulations. Many thanks. Yeah, it's good to be with you. So Clonard Monastery is a great boost to the community, um, especially during novena time. Uh, that's a, a special time of the year. Obviously this year it couldn't happen because of the uh, pandemic, but you went virtual. So were you still able to provide that shoulder to lean on to the, the faithful at this troubled time? Absolutely. So, I mean, we had, more people, we had more people online than we would have had if we were live, you know. So it was, it was wonderful. But I'm delighted, I mean, that we've won, especially if the competition was Roar and Explore. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> You'll not be encouraging any be... roaring in, the, in the, the chapel night, Father, will you? Well, no. I mean, Redemptress, Redemptress used to be great for roaring, but, but not anymore, I'm afraid. Um, but no, I mean, we're delighted. We don't, we don't honestly think of ourselves as, as a visitor attraction. Uh, that's the last thing we think of. Uh, even though we do see the taxis coming with with people on on the yeah. tour, you know, yeah. uh, we don't we don't know what they say to the people that they bring, uh, what they say about us, um, but I suspect that a lot of what they say is historical. Absolutely, you know, well, not, not, uh, historical and in the now as well, because I'm sure an awful lot of people get an awful lot of refuge from a visit to Clonard Monastery, and we thank oh, you yes, and everyone there for keeping the place. Um, keeping the place going and a, a very, very important part of the community as well. Thank you very much, Father, and congratulations. Kogar Many thanks. Many thanks. Thank you. And on to our next award this evening. We've got so many to get through. Um, next award, we go from uh, the Sublime to the Mechanical. <laughs> Best Car Mechanic, sponsored by Translink. And our short listed nominees are Colm Devlin, who has eight year, 18 years experience as a car mechanic under his belt. With a, a, a be a fan belt, of course. Lanark Way Autos with their base right at the peace line and serving drivers from right across the community. And Manning's Car and Commercials, based in the Work West in the Glen Road and run by local boy Connor Manning and Sean, who is the winner. The winner, Lynette, is Manning's Car and Commercials. There we go. We have a happy boy there, a happy boy on screen, Connor. <laughs> Joining us on Zoom this evening. Look at you all cleaned up. <laughs> you, no, no, listen, have you seen me overalls on, for God's sake? So, Friday night, Connor. You, I haven't had my overalls on, ladies. Well, you pulled out all the stops tonight now. So, tell us about your moving with well, the times we hear, and we hear you have installed video in your garage, Connor. How does that work? Yeah, What's that I all about? Indeed, yes. I have right, but first of all, before we go any further, it's not in Work West, it's in the Stilly Street just off the Gravener Road. Okay. So, West Lake Enterprise Centre. I'm from Tyrone, so, Connor. We'll just get that out there. That's what's my all. fault, that's my Are fault, you? blame well, me. Well, well, well sir, if you're stuck in Belfast, you know where to go, die. <laughs> I do, <laughs> I do. So tell me about the video in the garage. What are you doing? Here? Well, so it's just for customer base. Um, instead of trying to explain to somebody what's wrong with their car and it's getting money or not the other, we record everything that's going on and tell them what's wrong with the car, 
um, explain to them how much it's going to cost and what they want to do, and they give us a go ahead before we go and do it. So they feel a lot better about it. You can see what's wrong with the car, and they yeah. give us a go ahead or not. Good so man, you, good man yourself, everybody. Connor. Ahead of the game and providing a brilliant service. That's why you're the best in the West. Congratulations. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, best car pleasure. mechanic. So that's a uh, Connor Manning. Now on to the next award, and it's our Best Care Home Award sponsored again by TransLink. And this has been a very, very difficult year for our care homes and nursing homes, which are in our thoughts again as we deal with this second spike in COVID cases. Our shortlisted nominees are Bricklands Care Home in Dunmurray, which prides itself on bringing happiness to its residents. Glen Owen Court in the heart of Andersonstown, which has 44 flatlets to allow its residents maximum independence and Fruit Hill Nursing Home and it's home to 36 residents and cares primarily for elders needing care and the winner is Sean. The winning care home is Brooklands. Congratulations to Brooklands. There we go. They're very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Patricia Brown on Zoom and I see a few others with you there this evening. Patricia, congratulations. Now, it's a really, really serious time for care homes, obviously. They're never out of the news at the minute. But when the COVID surge hit, you and your colleagues um, left your families and you moved into the home and made that big decision. Why did you do that? Because it was better for us to move into the home, keep the residents safe, keeping everybody safe by moving into the home. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, how, how has the last few months been? How, can't have been easy on you. It's, it's, we're doing really, really, the COVID was like the worst experience I've ever, ever had to go through. Mm -hmm. But we got through it and we got through it as a good team. Um, we have amazing nurses down there. So we have, and we're like doing really, really well now. Like we're completely COVID free and we're doing amazing now. Yeah, and I'm sure it's nice to be acknowledged in this way as well as best in the West. So enjoy the celebration Thank you and, all so much. and the acknowledgement and the recognition Thank of all the great work you do. Thank you very much for joining us this Thank evening. You. Well Patricia Brown and everybody at Brickland's Care Home. I think it's fair to say they're happy with that result. Now, our next award. Oh, it's a big one. It's the best GAA club sponsored again by TransLink. And our shortlisted nominees are Michael Davitz, Michal O'Diver coming out last scale. The Davitz have just opened their own park in the Mid Falls. Gort Namona, Common Lee Class Gale up next, Common Sports, Ganoris, a Common Pubble, Hart, Rutherby, Ella. The Gorts pride themselves in the commitment both on and off the pitch. Aga St. Club, Padraig Sarshell, Common Lee Class Gale, Sarsfields are at the heart of the community as shown by their decision this very week to locate a COVID test centre there without charge on the grounds. Aga St. Shane Boatshore now, over to you, Sean, who's the winner? The winner is Gort Namona. Oh ho! Up the gorts, I guess Lena Nish to Kieran O'Brolahan or Elena. Um, live on Zoom is Kieran O'Brolahan from the club. Well, Kieran, Aberlam, Nara Juju and uh, um, Shees and Common Sports near Glack and Gorts Sus. A Kuishi from one Embra done fobble, heart are of inch they fish in. Can't you? Um, or at least I mean, my my college like Gak, commonly class girls, she don't mean VC to go and make a go burst on a fobble. So I'm rather a Virginia, my hample wine nagger. Remit Kenji Ro Hala Morsogin, Alba the Oscars, Lin Lilin the Jane Glassala, August uh V Nuscorha, Dini Egoberga Junior Kentin, a Kur Pakisti Takiaka Chili Lakila, the Gola Mac, Flood Fad, Counter Shogin, Counter Nuclear Clooney, the Kaji Le Tazagini or uh the Lock Locker Balakar Bay, August I mean Kaimit's Cup of Shock then a golden overson, August um, you know, V V Rod Alan, uh V Dini and some matter and and uh Aharlan and Matter, a row Rick and his Tazagut McKinnell. Um Ari Eggsla, I went in the King of Kersey Slanch, August Sala Tak, a few few went behind Ready Machine. So so Hanny Dini Lakela TV stayed a lot of wine. It was why they said hard for Truha Mala land the hour because of the Dini or August and Fern come out or own Trollop Shore Fad and Fessy Steve. Kreena Fella, Kreena Fella, Agoni Lamahi Hurst and Shin, Egg Gort Namona, a here in August and Tahin to Shaw Tilcha, Egg Club, Gurmi Lamai get a civilian Trona, when Saltus and Cotella de Ike Inye, Melebuhis, Cogarta Hisla, Gort Namona. That's a big one now, the best GA club in West Belfast. Now, our next award is uh, the best project for seniors, sponsored by TransLink, and our shortlisted nominees are Good Morning Colin. It's a phone call, a lifeline for the vulnerable in the greater Colin area. Colin Youth Development Centre uh, lost all its physical activities during lockdown, but the pe young people involved volunteered to help the less well off during the pandemic. 
August and Shin, uh, we have Cran Gabaha Community Shed, which is a great idea, based in Conway Mill, was established in 2012 to empower men and women to build the community. So, Sean, our best project for Shape Seniors is... Good morning, Colin. Woohoo! Kogarda has slug. Good morning, Colin. And uh, live on Zoom now to receive the award, we have Ashling Thompson. Congratulations, Ashling. Um, you not only keep in phone contact with your network, but you always or you also organise away days. So this has stopped, but is there any other way you can keep people's spirits up in these very difficult times? Oh, yes, the calls, they really provide a lifeline, you know, it's just an opportunity for a chat and uh, listening ear and some support too. Uh, we were able to help organise food packages for our residents that were shielded. Uh, we distributed activity packs as well, you know, just to keep their spirits up too. You know, we have an amazing team of volunteers. They're so dedicated and they give up so much of their free time, you know, just to help the project. Without them, the project wouldn't be running. Yeah, well, you're helping so many other people and you've been recognised, Julie, for it as well. Ashton, congratulations. And thank you very much for joining us this evening. Co Good thank morning, you. Colin. That's the best project for seniors, um, sponsored by Translic. Now on to our next award. Here we go, Survival of the Fittest. Best Gym Award, sponsored by Translink. Um, we know most of our gyms had to close down because of COVID restrictions and uh, most for several months, but they've got back up again and we really hope that they do find a way to continue to keep it, keep us fit as we contemplate another lockdown. We hope it won't come to that. But our shortlisted nominees are the Unit Gym and Fitness. It's on a mission to inspire the full potential in all. Brook Leisure Centre in Twinbrook boasts the largest sports hall in Ireland and is a great addition to the recreational amenities in the centre and um, previously starved of quality sporting facilities. And thirdly, McCall Field Lifestyle and Performance Gym opened in January and has closed down in March but they're now going from strength to strength in the print hall. So congratulations to all the nominees. So the fittest. <laughs> Over to you, Sean. <laughs> the winner is the unit. Congratulations, there we go. And here we are, just by magic, they're all up on screen. Um, congratulations to the unit, gym and fitness. So I think we're going to talk to Sam Carson. Where are you, Sam? You're the nominated yeah. speaker. Right. right, Sam, over in the corner, of course. Um, so you see yourself, you know, as making everybody who comes into the gym very much part of the team, part of the unit. So yeah. tell us about that desire to tap into the best in everyone who comes through your door. But we just try and provide the best that we can for everyone who comes through the doors. We'll cover all aspects of training, so we're just happy to help anybody and everybody. And even through the, the COVID, I suppose coming out the other side of this pandemic as well, you're going to see an awful lot of people coming to you really looking your help, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Now, fingers crossed, but you're now the best in the West. Why wouldn't they be? Come on, that's, yes, that's definitely much. bound to be Thank worth you. something. Thank you. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Cheers. Well so done. there we go. That's the fittest. And uh, Sean, thank you very much thank for you. joining me this evening. And uh, thanks to Translink for all the support as well. We very much appreciate it. Um, very grateful to all the drivers as well and the frontline workers. And we hope that everybody does stay safe and well as this continues. We will be back with our next set of awards just after this advert. I saw young ones hanging about bus stops and or, around where these ticket machines are. I'd say, hey you, do you live here? No, but get away on up to your own door, you clump of key. Kids gathering at bus stops and on buses is a serious issue and the advice that I would give to them is to maybe just have a little bit of consideration for the older generation because eventually, one day, you're going to be them. Look out for your elderly and your family at home. Keep your group sizes small and keep your social distancing. We all have a responsibility to protect one another. And as the Irish proverb goes, or Skahakila Warmwich, which means in each other's shadows, we survive. The forest is still here and we have to do everything we can to prevent it from spreading. All we need to do is show a little bit of responsibility, keep your distance, be nice to people. Everybody's under a little bit of pressure at this time. What would you say to the public to encourage uh, social distancing? Well, I think it should, it should to heed the people and do what they're told to do. I said, because it's, it's never going to go away if they don't, if they don't act. August Tafalsharu of Arashkaji Kudj Ada Din Ihisha Skai and Iher Achyalyaru Ogin. Celebrating the best of the West tonight. Welcome to part two. And I'm joined in the studio now by John Bailey from Sponsors Glenwood Business Centre. He's going to announce the winners of the next four categories. And our first award is the Glenwood Best Small Business Award. The shortlisted nominees are 
A1 Solutions, a family-run label supply business. Tom and Ollie, our favourite deli produce, produce provider from their pole glass base. And thirdly, Action Plumbing has been serving the community since the 1980s. And John, over to you, the winner is? The winner is A1 Solutions. Best small business, A1 Solutions. There we go. I think you were a wee bit, a wee bit shocked there, Laura, were you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Um, you're a local Thank business you. with, lo with global reach. So tell us about how the pandemic has affected your business. We've been really busy throughout the pandemic. Uh, we manufacture labels for the hospitals, uh, for food manufacture companies. So we've been really, really busy. Um, our staff were amazing. I'd like to give them a massive thank you because all through the pandemic, they came in, even when they were afraid, uh, they left their families and came in and worked overtime as well. So a massive thank you to them. Um, so yes, we've been really lucky to be really busy the whole way throughout the pandemic. Well, there you go now, Laura. Away you go. Get on to social media. Let them all know that they've won this award and a great recognition <laughs> for you. you all. Enjoy your Friday night and thanks very much thank for joining you. us this evening. And uh, on to our next award now. I'm ready for this one. I, I hope now that we're going to get a sample. That's what I'm hoping, John. So, best Sunday Roast Award, sponsored by Glenwood. And the shortlisted nominees are, you see them, Bobby's Bistro on the Springfield Road. Prides, prides itself in its sumptuous Sunday roast. It's making me hungry. The Felons is up for the award as well. It found itself in the unusual company when it appeared top of the official British government list for the Eat Out Help Out venues in August. But the restaurant has a fabulous reputation. And the Glen Owen Inn on the Glen Road is renowned for its family friendly atmosphere as well. So John, over to you. Yep. The best Sunday roast award in West Belfast goes to. And the winner is Bobby's Bistro. Bobby's Bistro, it's official. And I think we do. We have Anthony on the line, Anthony McKiernan from Bobby's Bistro. Ah, uh, Anthony, congratulations. Now I'm hoping somebody's just gonna land through these doors with a sample for us. Is that, is that gonna happen? No, forget about it. Anthony. I'm, just, I'm gonna have to visit. But uh, you serve up the mouth-watering fare, but um, how, how far is it to say that people come into, the, into Bobby's Bistro for the crack as well as the food? Yeah, well, West Belfast will always be guaranteed some entertainment anyway, but Bobby's when we started four years ago and this year will be the end of our journey. So it's, this award has been a great way to finish our four years. Right, okay. So we are end, end, ending with a bang then? Yeah. Thanks very much for joining us this evening, Anthony. And congratulations. Brilliant. Best, best uh, Sunday roast in the West, Bobby's Bistro. So our next award is for the Best Boxing Club Award, sponsored by the Glenwood Business Centre. And as we all know, boxing clubs suffered more than any other sport during the pandemic and are not yet able to resume contests. So our heart does go out to all involved in the world of amateur boxing this evening. Our shortlisted nominees are Holy Trinity Boxing Club, among the greatest boxing clubs ever to have emerged from Belfast. Clonard Boxing Club, uh, home to Michael Conlon and many other famous boxers. And last but not least, Anne Glan Boxing Club in Workwest. It's one of our younger boxing clubs, but fair to say that it really does punch above its weight. We could keep going with all the puns, couldn't we, uh, John? But uh, t over to you, tell us who really is uh, punching high there. Yeah, the winner for this one is Anne Glan. Anne Glan, congratulations to them. The best boxing club of the year. There we go, we get a, a thumbs up and uh, not a boxing glove in sight. Um, we have Stephen McGuinness on the line now. Congratulations, Stephen. Um, as I mentioned Thanks there, uh, really tough times at the minute for boxing clubs, yet we know all the clubs do brilliant and really important work for our youth. Um, how hard has it been for you over the last seven months? It's been really hard, obviously, with the, the club being closed over the lockdown. One of our major issues was looking at the mental health of our young boxers mm -hmm. and our members. So we've been working really hard on that. So it was great to get them back into the club and then focus on that. We had a, a bad start of the year when we lost one of our young members, Juan Hamill, who passed away through an accident in January. And um, it was very, very traumatic for our club. And then we moved to the pandemic right after that. So tonight will be... Um, Given this uh, award in honour of Bowen tonight, 
on behalf of myself. Great. And giving everybody a wee boost as well. And it's much needed at this time. Congratulations and thanks very much for joining us, Stephen. Well done to and Glan Boxing Club. Best in the West. It's now official. So now our next award is Best Group Award. Again, sponsored by Glenwood. And the shortlisted nominees are... Kneecap, Rappers in the Gaelica, August V. Shieldson's Nastatch among Cam Kurt Chicoil, uh, and Fandem, Irish language rappers who are rarely out of the headlines, Tishida Golo Nyart Ganyart, Fantasia Band, our West Belfast most explosive rock band, and Substation, our four young men from West Belfast with an unquenchable passion for music, and last but not least, the Cavemen are as well known in Donegal as they are in Belfast and have been praised for playing at Care Homes during the virtual fela this year. But the best band or the best group in the West is? Yep, the winner is Substation. Substation, co gorgeous. <laughs> you can see on the line we have Oren Philly from the band. Oren, you're, you're happy with that result, my son? Ah, uh, yes, I'm being safe as well. It's the lead guitarist standing out there. Oh, for social distancing, you know. Social distancing. You you you'll get another you'll get another award for being the safest and most COVID COVID friendly Brilliant. band as well. Brilliant. So I hear that there's an album in the works. Is that true? Oh well, yes, yeah. We'll have um, an album coming up. We're releasing a single first, but uh, we were in the studio there. Um, we had two songs done, so trying to keep things on the DL at the moment, but uh. Yeah, things are looking up for us, so they are. Very good. So studio, single on the way, and then hopefully working on an album. We'll be keep an eye out for you. Thank you very much for joining us this Thank evening. You. And you maybe Thank send you. you'll maybe send me that single into the radio, will you? Oh yeah, of course. We'll love good, that. Good man yourself for it. I look forward to hearing it. Thanks very much. Here's Congratulations to Substation. Oh. The best group in the West. And thanks very much to John Bailey from uh, Glenwood Business Centre as well. Thanks for all your support as well for Best of the West, John. I know mean, it hasn't been easy time for some of your tenants either. It hasn't been any easy on anyone, but um, you deserve special commendation for working with businesses and helping them get them through this tough time. So thank you very much. You. And uh, before we move on to our next set of awards, we'll break now for a musical dispatch from Joby Fox. And this is his famed hit, Belfast. Bill, Belfast, how I know you so well. You're like heaven. You're like hell. I come from a family of ten uh, from West Belfast. Five brothers, four sisters. We were a happy family. When I was 17, I joined a band called the Bank Rovers. We were quite well known in Belfast. We got a contract with EMI Records and went to London. I wrote the song Belfast when I was in the Bank Rovers. It was the first song that I'd ever wrote and it was overlooked. But many years later, when it was in Amity Orchard and living in London and signed AMCA Records, it was picked up again by someone in the record company. And it was the first single off our first album, Amity Orchard. I went to number 48 in the British charts and went to number one in Ireland. So it got great exposure all over the world. I toured Europe, America. A lot of people say that it's uh, the unofficial anthem for the city. In 69, when the troubles came, I was only eight years of age. And it devastated my family, devastated a lot of families. At that age, I wasn't very... Uh, aware of the political situation but I was I was able to pick up on the atmosphere around me and I knew that uh, there was something terribly wrong so anybody over the age of 30 or roundabouts always remembers this song obviously because it was named Belfast and again the troubles were raging the whole time in the background it was kind of lodged in their psyche from that point onwards Originally, it only had two verses. When the flag issue happened, I thought that I'd read a third verse, but a more optimistic verse. Well, the only way we're going to be free from the darkness is really by working together and uh, moving towards, move towards the light. As far as I 
Belfast from the fabulous Joby Fox there, uh, bringing some music to our event this Friday night as we celebrate the best in the West. Sky can you hear a ta chalyru ogin anacht? It's Misha Lynette Fay, it's Bemi Mar Vanity, Ogov Don Kajala Danicha. I'm now joined on Zoom, I hope, by Danielle McCaffrey from our sponsors Concentrix. There you are, Danielle. Nice to, nice to virtually meet you. Um, she's going to announce the winners for our next four categories this evening. And Concentrix is one of Belfast's biggest employers serving clients right around the world from the city centre and now from the West Belfast base at Springfield. But that was in normal times, of course. Um, at the minute, uh, most of the staff, uh, including Danny, are working from home at the minute. But uh, first up now in this uh, group of awards, we have the Best Small Business Award. This is a big one. And the shortlisted nominees are Fancy Fair on the Anderson's Town Road has been saying it with flowers for over 30 years. And then we have the Sleepover Crew NI. They organise magical sleepover experiences for the celebrating clients. Look at that. And thirdly, Lockdown Events is a movie quality character hire company. Oh my, oh my. You just lose yourself in that. And our best small business award goes to Danielle. It's over to you. Yep, the Sleepover Club. The Sleepover Crew, congratulations to you. And I hope that we have Tara Cook from the Sleepover Crew on the line. Hello, Tara, congratulations. Hello, hi, Andrew. So, Tara, the line's a wee bit dodgy, so we'll, we'll try and have a, a, a chat. But um, tell me about sleepovers. It looks like great crack. What's your favorite event of the year? Um, probably Christmas or Halloween. They're lovely things. Um, we're doing our Halloween ones at the minute and the nice sweet Christmas ones. So the children write the wee Santa letter and everything. And the magic envelope with the poster, they're, they're lettering. And the next morning, magically get up and it's gone. So we see the wee letters going off to Santa. But um, we've got lots of different wee things. The kids just love them and it's very new and very up and coming. And um, when you see the wee faces from the stage or their TP party, it's, it just makes it all worthwhile. It's a really, really great idea because you're you're bringing so much magic to children's lives and bringing them events that they'll never, ever forget. Thank you very much for joining us this evening and congratulations, best in the West, best small business to the Sleepover Crew. Enjoy the celebrations. And uh, now our next award is the Best Restaurant Award and this is sponsored by Concentrix again. And this has been a challenging time for all our nominees and indeed for all the restaurants and cafes of West Belfast. So we salute everyone who has made it through this far in the crisis and urge the readers to continue to eat out to help out. And the shortlist nominees are Goodfellas Pizza. It is legendary, the first and the original pizza in West Belfast, and it's sadly been closed since the lockdown, but we hope to see Goodfellas back very, very soon. Temple Restaurant on the Andersonstown Road is a West Belfast institution. 
they're shortlisted as well. And so is Biddy's Bar and Bistro, who has a loyal clientele who wait patiently for its reopening post lockdown. And hopefully Danielle is still there. Over to you, tell us which is the best restaurant in the West, Danielle. Yeah, Biddy's Bar and Biddy's Bar and Bistro. Bistro. Congratulations to Biddy's Bar <laughs> and Bistro. And we have Larry Teague on the line. Larry, you look a wee bit surprised oh, yeah. there. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Biddy's is synonymous with, synonymous with good crack, great service and the fab food. But people sometimes overlook the community connections that you've fostered um, as part of your work. Is it fair to say that you play a vital role keeping up the spirits of the patrons as well uh, during these troubled times? Yeah, we try to, yeah. We try to keep people's spirits high. So this, um, tell me what you do. Time. Just have the crack. First man in people's face, I, I, day in, day out, really. A big thank you to all the customers who come in every day and a big shout out to all the staff for helping out um, day in, day out. It's really, really above me on what to do. Well, now, now you can tell them all that you are officially the best in the West, Larry. So thank you very much for They'll joining us raise. this evening. They'll be looking raise. What do you see? Congratulations to you and well, Thanks well done. Minute. And now from restaurants, we'll go to daycare. And the daycare award is again sponsored by Concentrix. Now, uh, daycare centres provide a lifeline for kids and the hard pressed parents in these uncertain times. And while they all had to close for a period of time during lockdown, um, we really want to raise a glass for the efforts of everyone involved in this sector. The shortlisted nominees this evening are Blackie Daycare, previous winners and acclaimed childcare providers in Beachmount. Little Saints out of school, which operates across two locations to provide a relaxed atmosphere where children can relax and play. And Tullymore Daycare is at the heart of the wonderful Tullymore community complex. And when it closed, it gave its rooms over to facilitate a weekly relief parcel operation for the vulnerable. So Danielle, over to you to tell us who wins this one. The best daycare award goes to Little Saints out of school. Well, they deserve it for the name alone, don't they? Little Saints out of school. Congratulations. <laughs> Christine Harper is on the line. Have you, got, have you got a halo to go with it, have you, Christine? Of course, of course. <laughs> so what does it mean to you uh, to get this recognition for what has been a really, really tough year for daycare, daycare providers? It just means the world is all. It means the world to all the children, all the staff, all our parents, everybody. So... We're just delighted. Well, congratulations to you. And you can skip through the weekend with that news and, spre and spread the news. Thanks very much, Christine, for joining us thank this evening. Much. Thank you and well done. Now, uh, some small business sectors, thankfully, did manage to weather the COVID storm. And among them were the popular household retailers of West Belfast as families now spend their money on new purchases instead of going on foreign holidays and eating out. So our final award in this group is a Best Household Retailer Award, sponsored again by Concentrix. And the shortlisted nominees are Direct Furniture. It's coming up to 30 years of providing maximum value with a smile from its Anderson's Town Road base. Then we have Noel Grimley. Uh, he's the last word in white goods and is justly proud of its place at the heart of the people of Belf West Belfast. And then we have Boyle Home Furnishings on the Springfield Road offers second to none customer service and has been flat out since March. So well done to all three nominees. But the winner is Danielle. Direct Furniture. Direct Furniture. And we've Eugene McGurk from Direct Furniture with us on Zoom. Eugene, congratulations. Obviously, you love what you do, Eugene, but how did you cope with this increased and unprecedented demand for your supplies during the pandemic? I suppose we had a lot of good staff around us, a lot of local uh, boys we've employed for many years. It was a team that has been pretty much the same team we've been working for 20 years. So well, that's with the support of the staff. Yep. <laughs> And working really, really Battle hard through. to get to get you through yep. and deserve recognition for you and for all of them this evening. You're now officially the best in the West. Thanks very much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you well much, done. You did the work from Direct Furniture there. And that's the best Thanks household retailer in West Belfast. It's official.
Well, we're trundling all through the best in the West now and we're into awards section four of the evening and I have another guest with me in studio with Matthew McKenney from our sponsors, Specsavers. We'll spur all the jokes now. Specsavers in Park Centre is going to announce the winners in the next four categories. And first of all, you got a good one to start, Matthew. Best fry, here we go. The shortlisted nominees are the Coffee House on the Stewartstown Road, where Jim McElwain holds court for his loyal patrons. Next up, we have TK1 on the Anderson's Town Road, which has been a meeting place and restaurant for the people of Andytown for 15 years and counting. And last but not least, Tucker's Bakery and Deli on the Falls is named for its fantastic food and is the pride and joy of owners Dale and Nicola Tucker. So, Matthew, the best fry. Did you have to sample them all, did you? Oh, <laughs> Winner is the coffee house. The coffee house. Congratulations to them. So we can we can hear you, but we can't see you just yet. The award goes to uh, Jim McElwain, and uh, Jim is on the line. We hope I can't see you, but can I can hear you, Jim? Really? Hello, Jim. We can, we can I can talk Hi. to you. There you are. Hello. And Hello. Congra congratulations. So you're reopening you. post lockdown was welcomed even more enthusiastically than the opening of the chapels, I am um, reliably informed. So what's the secret of this great community bond with the coffee house? Ah, it's just the, the super team we'll have about it. You know, they're all, we're there 18 years. We've got a team front of house, back of house. And we just, we're near enough to know 99% of our customers on a first name basis. So that's what keeps it all together with us. But I'm sure now that you're wet, you're the best in the West for the uh, for the, for the fry. Uh, you'll, there's room for a few more new customers. Would I be right, Jim? Well, with COVID nineteen, there's not because we've lost near enough twenty five percent of our seats. But we'll, hopefully, when things get up and normal, we'll we'll have more people back. You know. Yeah, indeed. Well, all the best for the next for the next little while. It's a tough time for you all in the hospitality business, but uh, it's great to get a wee boost like this. I'm sure that'll uh, get you through another wee while. Congratulations. Well done to everybody at the Coffee House. And our next award is the Best Chemist Award and the shortlisted nominees are Coopies, Cooper's Pharmacy in West Belfast. It's an institution, but its premier pharmacy has been based on the same location since 1982. Then we have Dairy Farm Chemist, a previous winner of the Best of the West and its staff really stepped up during the COVID crisis to ensure its customers' healthcare needs were catered for despite the pandemic restrictions. And finally, last but not least, McGrath's Chemist at Grancha and is celebrating 56 years of service to the Glen Road community. And over to you, Matthew, the winner is? The winner is McGrath's Chemist. McGrath's Chemist, well done to everyone there. Oh, look, the Christmas party photograph. It'll not be this year. They'll have to treasure that one for another wee while. And congratulations to Damien and everyone at McGrath's. Well done to them. Now on to the next award this evening and it's our best bar and club award and we know the last few months haven't been easy on this sector either. So our hope is that there's going to be another lockdown. Support is given to the bars and clubs to ensure that they and their employees weather the storm. The shortlisted nominees are Anderson's Town Social Club. The PD is a popular watering hole and community hub which transformed itself into a food relief centre during the Covid surge in the spring. The Devonish has just undergone a mammoth renovation and continues to forge ahead despite current challenges. And finally, Wolf and Whistle, an award-winning restaurant and bar which showcases the, the best of the West's hospitality. So those are our nominations for best bar and best club. Matthew, the winner is? Anderson Town Social Club, BD. The PD is the winner. It's the best in the West. And we go live now to, uh, I think, is it Michael Porter is on the line? Hello, Michael. Yes. So tell Hello. us how the committee and members of the Anderson Stone Social Club responded to the COVID crisis under you as chair and uh, the late Bobby Story, who was shielding himself at the time. I would say it was very hard for the members and stuff with it, when they've been out and not being able to actually get into the, the local water and hold. But the likes of the parcels and stuff kept everybody going and kept all the staff going too. But obviously the staff looked after the committee looked after all the staff, and we all looked after all the members with the parcels and stuff and the food relief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it got, that got you through, and gradually then people coming back and you see the community spirit, I suppose, coming oh, alive God, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's full house. 
and stuff with, with enables our capacities way down mm -hmm. so food has got quicker but if people have been responding really well come back it's like good to see all the old faces come back too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and good to see that you can do all this and everything can be done and uh, keep social distancing well thank you very much for joining us this evening well done to the pd congratulations thank you thank you. Thank you. best in the west uh, the best bar and the best club and now we get you. You got the best ones, Matthew. I have to say, the best pub, the best, the best fry, and now we're on to the best fish supper award. And the shortlisted nominees are uh, Gerardo's fish and chips, both delicious and great value. And Aldo's fish and chips represents the very best of 80 years' experience of catering for the palates of the West Belfast community. And then Raffo's Fish and Chips, also part of the Irish-Italian connection and can trace its roots back 70 years to the current owner, Darren's great-grandfather. And Matthew, the best fish and chips in the West. The winner is Aldo's Fish and Chips. Aldo's Fish and Chips, congratulations to them. The best in the West, that is definitely a big one. And Matthew, thank you very much for joining us this evening and of course for the support of Spec Savers in Park Centre for the awards as well. And we're going to take another short break before we announce some more award winners. Hi, I'm Matthew McKenney, Optometry Director here at Spec Savers in the Park Centre. Myself and all the team are thrilled once again to be backing the Best of the West Awards. These fantastic awards shine a light on all the achievements of local businesses and community groups, both large and small, in this area. This year, with COVID-19, it has been more challenging than ever for everyone. So awards like Best of the West are more important than ever, showing how a community working together can overcome even the most difficult of challenges. The Gala Awards Night might be a little different this year, but we are looking forward to seeing local people rewarded for their hard work and community spirit. All that remains for me to say is best of luck to everyone who's been nominated and entered, and have a good night. Thanks. And welcome back. Falta Arash, Gaji Skyh and Yeher, August Chilu Gradam, Lebrunu, Ogin Anish. And I'm now joined by Paddy Crilly from our sponsors, Hudamaki. Paddy, congrats to Hudamaki and everyone involved for pivoting during the pandemic and providing frontline workers with PPE that was so badly needed. So it was great to see that work acknowledged by executive ministers. And Paddy is going to announce the winners of the next four categories this evening. So first up, we have Best Soccer Club, um, the, the award uh, for Shock Soccer Club and the shortlisted nominees are... St Oliver Plunkett's, founded by the late Jackie Maxwell, and he would have been proud of its continued commitment to the youth of Lenadoon and the surrounding areas. The Celtic Boys is proud of its ethos of football and for all, and has relied on the generosity of the West Belfast public to keep its teams going. And finally, the Belfast Swifts, based in Brick Leisure Centre, founded in 2017 with the goal of giving girls the same access to football as the boys. And the best football club is Paddy. The best football club is Belfast Swifts. Belfast Swifts, congratulations to them, the winners of the best football club. <laughs> I can, I can see that there's a lot of happiness there with that news. Jared Rooney is on the line. Jared, why did you feel it was important to ensure that girls had the same sporting opportunity as the boys with the foundation of the club? Can you hear? I think there's too many people around Jared that he can't hear me talking sorry, to him. Sorry. Can you hear me now, Jared? 
Do you yeah, tell me yeah, whenever you founded the club, because it's only newly established in 2017, why was it important to involve the girls in playing soccer? We, 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 just, want we just want to give the girls the yeah. boys have. Um, three, of, three of my own daughters play, and it's just been a great opportunity. I think what George's saying there, just briefly, he said that his own daughters, he wanted them to be involved in the club, so it had to be a club where girls were involved. And it's a brilliant, brilliant idea, and well done to them for being the best in the West. Now, our next award is the Best Singer Award, and the shortlisted nominees are Alana Flynn. Wow, what a photo. Uh, she's 23 year old Nightingale who loves to sing and perform to audiences, preferably in person, which has also rallied to the online platforms, especially in order to help build up the mental well being of everyone. Well done, Lana. Roshan Nakari, Kyotor Bin Aling, a will clue Agus Kail Arhi as Ukt Akaj Araniachta, Mahi Rasha. And John Rafferty, previous winner of TG Kahar, Kjol Chiro Competition, John's second album, Comfort of the Wings, topped the Irish country music charts. So those are our three nominees, our three Best Singer Award nominees. So who is the sweetest singer of them all? Best singer is Alana Flynn. Alana Flynn, congratulations, congratulations, Alana. Well done to you. So tell me, Alana, why is it important for you to use this great gift of music you have to help other people? Can you hear me, Alana? You can. I can't hear you for some reason. We'll just, we'll see. I'll ask the question and see. Can you hear me now? On mute. I can hear you now, Alana. Brilliant. Yeah. So I think it's, fa it's fa <laughs> fair to say everybody's happy for you, Alana. But uh, yeah. tell me why you are decided to use music to help those who might be suffering from depression or anxiety. Why is that so important to you? Um, because music is something that's really helped me. I've struggled myself with anxiety and depression and that's something that's really helped me and I think it's something that everybody can relate to. So it was really important for me. Just if I know it can help me, I know it can help somebody else. Good, so good, it's really good yeah. woman working from experience. And now you are officially the best singer in the West, Alana. So you, yeah! you enjoy that moment. Thanks very much for being with us this evening. Grimila Mayagat, she's telling everybody to shush around her while she enjoys herself. Um, our next award is the Best Taxi Award and the shortlisted nominees are Grancha Taxis has worked with his customers to overcome together um, the very real threat to its business uh, be provided by uh, COVID-19 and in the process has ensured that it continues to serve the people of West Belfast. Then we have Brook Taxis, uh, providing a popular taxi service for the people of Greater Dunmurray, but also offers chauffeur and executive hire services. And thirdly, Peter Pan Taxis, a household name in West Belfast, operating from the former Springfield Road Bakery complex. And Paddy, the best taxi firm in West Belfast is? The best taxi firm is Grancha Taxis. Grancha Taxis. Cool Garcia has the Grancha Taxis, and I think that we should have uh, Martin Sullivan on the line. Well, we don't have Martin, but we have somebody from Grancha Taxis on the line <laughs> going out to take the call. This is a very important call to take. So get out of the room so you can hear me. So congratulations to Grancha Taxis. How hard has it been for the, the drivers during the pandemic? You need to unmute your mic. If you can hear me, you need to unmute your mic. How do you do it? How do you do it? This is like a family Zoom quiz. <laughs> Hi. Oh, we've got you now. So, tell me how, so who am I talking to? You're talking to Carl. Hello, Carl. Congrat congratulations. Well done. Tell me how difficult it's been for you over the last few months during the pandemic. It's very, very hard for everyone, all the drivers, trying to put in all the precautions to make sure everything's safe for all the drivers and for all the passengers who are coming into the taxis. It's been very, very hard for everyone, but we're trying our best. Yeah, you are indeed. Well, you're trying your best and you are now officially the best in the West. So congratulations. Yeah! Well done. <laughs> yeah, fair to say they're happy enough about that one then. Uh, thanks very much to you for joining us this evening. Now on to the Best Community Centre Award. And it's important to just take a breath, I suppose, and congratulate the community leaders in West Belfast who responded with unbelievable generosity to the coronavirus crisis. They rallied the community and ensured the most vulnerable got the essential supplies that they needed and the school children got access to mobile devices so they could learn from home as well. And the shortlisted nominees are Falls Community Centre on the Falls Road, which remains at the heart of everything that's great about West Belfast. 
Glen Community Centre in Lenadoon, which has stepped up its services once the lockdown ended to ensure families and individuals who depend on it were not alone. And Tullymore Community Centre, strong belief in putting people first and ensuring that every member of the community is cherished, nurtured and supported. And Paddy, our best uh, community centre is? The best community centre is Tullymore Community Centre. Tullymore Community Centre. Congratulations Yay! to everyone involved there at Tullymore Community Centre. Look at this. And you win the Social Distancing Award of the Night as well, folks. Congratulations to you. Who's Jim? Where's Jim Garvin? There's Jim there. Hello. Jim, congratulations to you all. And during the pandemic surge, you chose to close down all activities in the centre. Um, but it's fair to say that you remain busier than ever. Tell us about the emergency service that you ran from Tullymore. Well, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for voting for us. We're over the moon um, and for all our staff, volunteers and board. <laughs> but during the, the, the COVID um, crisis, we just changed our services. Um, our older people services, we phoned 250 people a day. Um, we coordinated food um, with our partners across West Belfast. Um, and we're delivering um, unbelievable amount of foods to people who were in real need. Um, and then our youth team, um, we're doing mentoring and support online. So. We were very adaptable, um, so it was a busy time, but we were glad to be at the heart of things. Well, well, well done to you, and you're receiving the recognition for all your efforts now as well. I think it's true to say that your community really appreciates everything that you've done for them. So thank you very much for joining us this evening, folks. Enjoy your socially distanced celebration. I'm delighted to see you all being really responsible there. Thanks a million for joining us, and congratulations to Tully Moore Community Centre as well. And thanks to Huda Amaki this evening and John for the support. Thank you very much. Okay. It's now time for another quick break, and I want you to enjoy this short message now from Houtamaki and then to reflect on a special video made during the worst pandemic by um, the worst of the pandemic by our friends in Upper Springfield who came together under the banner our Skahikela Awaran Nadini. We all live in each other's shelter. When you go out and see the empty streets, the empty football fields, the empty GA pitches, even the empty children's play parks, don't say to yourself, it looks like the end of the world. What you're seeing is love in action. What you're seeing in those empty spaces is how much we do care for each other. We care for our grandparents, for our parents, our brothers and sisters, for all those with underlying health problems. We care for people we will never meet. People will lose jobs over this. People will lose their businesses. And some will also lose their lives. This is all the more reason to just take a moment when you're out on your walk or on your way to the shops or just watching the news to look into the emptiness and marvel at all of that love. Let it fill you and let it sustain you. It isn't the end of the world. It is the most remarkable act of global solidarity we may ever witness in our lifetime. So stay safe, folks. Stay at home. And God bless you all.
August Falsch Arash Kaji Sky and Yeher. Welcome back to the best of the West tonight. And a few more awards to present now. And I'm going to do the honours this time round. Uh, the next set of awards are sponsored by Better Leisure Centres. And now we go first to the Best Dance Group Award. And the shortlisted nominees in this category are Rapture Dance Crew in the Blackstaff Centre, which boasts a cast of up to 100 young dancers. Then we have Ferris School of Irish Dancing, led by John Ferris and host classes right across West Belfast. And finally, CR Vision Dance Company was set up by Chloe Rooney, a dance artist and performer whose vision was to inspire future generations. So well done to all the nominees, but the winner is, so the best dance group in West Belfast is, da, 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 Ferris Irish Dancing. Congratulations to them. Yeah. <laughs> And on the line now, uh, we have Kiva Bunton. Now, you have pu push your screen down a wee bit. We can only see half your head. Put the screen down a wee bit That's so we can well, see you. Kiva. very shy. She, Kiva. she is the PRO, but she's not, she's not going to speak. Well, who's going to no, tell me, well, who's gonna tell me then about the Irish dance and being the great celebration of Irish culture, but what other benefits does it bring to the participants? Um, it brings lots of uh, benefits to them in terms of their health, both their mental health and their physical health. And not only that, it brings them on in their educational achievements as well. So very good for them across the board. It is indeed. And uh, that's a, a brilliant thing to be involved in. And congratulations to you for beating off all the competition and being the best dance group in the West. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, Enjoy the you. celebrations. Thanks very much. It's You're welcome. Be with a party. <laughs> Our next uh, award now is a fiercely contended category, the Best Pizza Award. And the shortlisted nominees in this category are Goodfellas, the original Belfast Italy Pizza Connection. Then we have Let Lowe's on the Anderson's Town Road has scored success with its secret pizza sauce and Ireland's largest pizza as well. Not, never a bad thing. And uh, We Need Pizza is a family-run business in the heart of the Falls, which is a firm favourite with pizza fans in the West as well. So congratulations to all the nominees, but it's official for 2020. The best pizza in the West is Little O's. Congratulations to Little O's Pizza. Excellent. And Stephen Lawless is on the line now. So there you go. Stephen, just let's put this to bed, shall we? You know, there's all this debate. We saw you with the, saw the box there about Ireland's largest pizza. Is this true and how have you proven it? Yeah, well, we, we do sell the, the, the largest pizza in Ireland. Um, the largest pizza before we made it was in Dublin and we went an extra inch. And so, yeah, doing really well. Uh, it's proven, really, proven to be a really good success. So thank you. Well, well done to you. It speaks, it speaks for itself. Um, and now you're the best in the West, so it's, it's official. So enjoy that status for the next little while anyway, Stephen. Thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening. And we'll move from pizza to coffee shop now, the best coffee shop award. And uh, some of our favourites are back in the running again for this one. So the shortlisted nominees in this category are the Coffee House on the Stewartstown Road. And then we have Hatch, very popular outlet facing the Royal and also extending now to RSC Connelly. And Bobby's Bistro, which guarantees great crack and great cuisine. And the winner is the best coffee shop in the West is the Coffee House. So on Zoom now for the second time tonight, it's Jim McElwain. Hello, Jimbo. You're having a great night tonight, Jim. Good, good. <laughs> so this is the fourth year in a row that you've won the double honours and best of the West. Can you make it five in a row? Well, we're hoping so. I mean, it went this far, we may as well go on. But what, what, what do awards like this mean to you now that you know you've, you've had this accolade for four years in a row? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to the business? It means we're based in West Belfast, our custom base is in West Belfast, and we just think these awards are super, and we just love to win them. It just it lifts the whole morale and the customers and all. It just lifts everything about West Belfast. Oh, you'll be some crack tomorrow morning. You'll not be wiping that smile off your face, Jim, will you? No matter how much wine you have the night. No, no, no. This game's <laughs> on for another year. <laughs> well, thanks a million. Well done to you. Congratulations. 
It's brilliant testament to all the hard work. And now our final award in this section is the Best Convenience Store Award. And without a doubt, it's not just the hardest fought category, but also one of the most popular with our voters as well. The shortlisted nominees in this category are the Spar in Mount Eagles, Winners in 2018 and 2019, Spar and Mount Eagles uh, provided the saviour of the Mount Eagles community when so many other shops and services closed during the COVID-19 surge. Then we have McKenna's today on the Falls Road at The Rock. Streets is a family-run uh, business which has been open 365 days a year for the past 16 years. And last but not least, Jack's Convenience Store in Twinbrook. Not just a great convenience retailer, but also a strong sponsor of local clubs and good causes as well. And the winner is Best Convenience Store Award goes to McKenna's today. And we have uh, Maria Digny and Co there on the line. Um, congratulations to you. So tell me how important it is for you, for your convenience store, to have a really strong connection with the local community. Um, it's really important for us because um, we rely on their support and, and them coming in every day and keeping us open. And we're really proud to sponsor the community football team, the Swifts, and help out with the bingo over the, the lockdown. And, uh, we're so grateful to all our regular customers and all our school customers in the morning and um, can't thank them enough and thank them for voting for us. It's lovely. It's lovely to have a shop with a, a bit of personality in the heart of a community, and it seems like your shop it provides exactly that. So well done. Best convenience store goes to McKenna's today, and thanks very much to Maria for joining us this evening. Now on to our next section and I would have to say congratulations to all our winners at this point and um, thanks to the sponsors again who have made this virtual celebration possible and now in the studio with me is Michael Murphy from Sponsor Salon Supplies. Welcome. Um, and you're going to announce the winners of the next four categories. Yes. First Michael and the first of those is the best beauty salon. So the shortlisted nominees are Studio A Falls Road, which is the joint project of Alana Mervyn and Anne Toner. Then we have Beauty Box Falls Road, which is not just a salon, but a fully accredited education centre. And then Bombshell Beauty on the Stewartstown Road in a popular beauty salon with a great reputation as well for the hairdressing service. But Michael, it's over to you to tell us the best beauty salon in the West. Yeah, the winner is the Falls Road Beauty Box. Yay! Falls Road Beauty Box, congratulations. And we have Danielle Quinn on the line. Danielle, tell us about your role in educating the next generation of beauty therapists. What do you do? Well, it's something that we just actually started up through lockdown. Um, decided just to give back to the local community, offer affordable, up-to-date courses for anybody who wants to start a new career or extend their skills existing, for existing beauty therapists. Um, yeah. It's a good it's a good time to diversify and a good a great service to provide as well to you know, young girls, fellas who might want to get into this business. It definitely is the business. The beauty industry is just expanding, expanding, expanding. Um, and it extends to every walk of life. And it, 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 it certainly does, Danielle. Does. And we, we saw that for sure during lockdown when we missed the beauty industry so, so much. So thank you very much for everything that you do. Well done and expanding and well done in re receiving this award. This yeah. evening. Congratulations to you. That's it. Best Beauty Salon is at Falls Road Beauty Box. Congratulations to Danielle Quinn and Co. Now our next award sponsored by Salon Supplies is the Best Barber Award. And the shortlisted nominees are Moe's Turkish Barbers representing the change in West Belfast and have already proven a hit with the local community. Then we have JJ's Barbers on the Andersonstown Road, recently opened on uh, the Andytown Road after fire destroyed its Glen Road shop and thankfully it's going from strength to strength. And then we have Cut and Edge Barbers on the Shaw's Road which has been a cut above for the past six years. But uh, the best barber in town is Michael. JJ's Barbers. 
JJ's Barbers. Congratulations. And we have John O'Hillahan from JJ's Barbers on the line. Congratulations. John, you know, just saying there about um, the fire in the Glen Road Shop, how did, you did, how did you recover after that? That is a massive blow. Yeah, it was indeed. It was just one of them things you couldn't get you down. <clears throat> you just had to play on through and just have it in your head that you were going to succeed. And that not let anybody bring you down. Just go for it. And thankfully, <clears throat> it's just went from strength to strength. Well, I can't thank our Yeah, obviously customers. your reputation precedes you and people followed you no matter where you go. They, they just know the service they're going to get. Well, this is it, you know, and without the customers and even the staff, you know, my staff have been with me from day one and they're fantastic. The customers are absolutely amazing. Customers of West Belfast are just brilliant. Well, there you go. <clears throat> it is official now that, JJ, you are the best in the West. Congratulations and well done. Uh, nice little, nice recognition for you this evening. And we'll go now to the Best Hair Salon Award. Ho, 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 it's a big one. Uh, the shortlisted nominees are Bombshell, uh, Bombshell Hair by Terry, um, our only finalist in both hair and beauty uh, categories this evening. So that's quite an achievement in itself. Uh, next up, we have Hair by Antoinette, who have been flat out with grateful clients since it opened its doors in 2018. And Le Petit Salon is owned by Brona McNeil, who finally opened her own salon three years ago after 19 years styling her. So great recognition to all the nominees this evening. But Michael, the winner is Best mm -hmm. Salon. Where am I going for my next blow dry? You're going to see Hair by Antoinette. Hair by Antoinette. Yay! Congratulations. So Danielle, you're going to pick up the award on her on her behalf. You're having a busy evening. So uh, tell me about this. <laughs> so tell me about, you know, hair was a big thing. I was just saying there how much we missed our um, beauticians during lockdown. My goodness, did I miss my hairdresser. It was just, our hair is so important, isn't it? Absolutely. And I like to think that we're um, quite essential key workers, to be honest. <laughs> It's definitely essential key workers and I have to say for mental health if, if nothing else just to keep keep yourself right and keep yourself looking well and feeling good we'll make sure and tell Antoinette that we're delighted for her and this great uh, recognition will. for her hair by Antoinette the best uh, hair salon in West Belfast that is no mean feat well done and thank you very much Danielle for that and now our final award sponsored by Salon Supplies is best tanning salon award this is a tough one now shortlisted nominees are Stacey's Closet, a popular tanning and beauty salon on the Glen Road. And then we have the Tan Lounge. They spotted a gap in the market on the Springfield Road and filled that four years ago. And Glow West Tanning and Beauty on the Falls offers the latest sunbed technology to its customers. And the winner of the Best Tanning Salon Award is... Is Stacey's Closet. Stacey's Closet. Well done, oh. Stacey Flynn. You've won uh, the best tanning salon award this evening. We can see something, we can hear, we can we can we don't can't see much. We'll try and talk to Stacey. Stacey, if you can hear me, can you? Yes, I can hear. But you can hear me, so I'll ask you. You say you like that all your customers to leave with a smile. So what's the secret to making that happen? Oh, do you know what? You have to be human, don't you? People have feelings, and as long as they can unload their feelings and stuff, and I suppose we are counsellors at the end of the day, because when you're doing nails, you're sitting holding their hand. So basically, that you'll have to listen to what they have to say. You do, and you become you become a close confidant as well, and you hear so you hear so many things from people, don't you, when you're you're, you're working with them in that way. Well, thank you very much, Stacey, for joining us this evening. Congratulations to you. Well, well done. And thank you very much to Michael Murphy uh, for joining us this evening for presenting those awards and announcing our winners as well. And that concludes all our sponsored categories for 2020. Well done to all our fantastic Best of the West winners tonight and everyone who was nominated as well. But uh, our, for our finale, we have four special awards to announce. Our heroes of the pandemic, so standout individuals who went that extra mile to serve their community during the worst of the COVID-19 emergency. So all of us are aware of the magnificent heroism in our hospitals and our care homes during the surge and we plan to return to those exceptional workers at the Ashling Awards later this year. But for our heroes of the pandemic, 
We'll turn to those out there in the community who responded with big hearts and strong hands to make sure that our spirits never faltered during this battle. And it's over to Martin and William. So, um, our goose, uh, Lynette, co gorgeous. She didn't try grad with that to So, congratulations to you. You just rattled through uh, 30 <laughs> awards there. And, and this is a great highlight for us because when we started the Best of the West, uh, it was no normality out there. Mm -hmm. The end of pandemic hit. We had to suspend the Best of the West for, for four months with no voting. And then we came back in September. And it was really important to be recognised that great uh, upsurge of support for, for the community. And we asked for nominations. We got, we got scores of nominations. And we decided really that we would try and pick people from around the West and who did different things. So uh, our first award goes to Inna de Vak and Lauren and Gilligar were in a while. So um, Inna de Vak, during the lockdown, uh, launched a range of activities online, in particular Rangan and Gilligar Irish classes, Two different programs, Bidana uh, was one of them. Um, and they, they really, I think, made sure that they kept people's solidarity strong, that they united the community at this difficult time. So earlier today, uh, we went to talk to Killian Walsh uh, from Inadevac, and he's self-isolating. So our photographer, Thomas McMullen, had to stand back a bit. But here's what Killian Walsh from Inadevac had to say. Eva Hodge, it's Misha Killian Walsh. Uh, my name's Killian Walsh. I'll get this Misha and Tifigak Forbaha Gilliga, Le Honadi Bahak. I'm the Irish Language Development Officer with Honadi Bahak. Um, I'll get this more in honour do. And Gradam Shaw Aglaku, our son Honadi Bahak. Um, it's a great honour and privilege to accept this award on behalf of Honadi Bahak, Chang Agus Culture, Language and Culture. Uh, Lahai Service done Changa Gaelica, August Emmachty Culture, August Gaelica, for services to Irish language and culture. Lalin the Pandema, August is is Kush for Ahashe, Gwil Mud Shem, a Kelleru Shahablin, Erno, Lena. It's a great, uh, it's, it's a great uh, deal of. Happiness that we're celebrating 30 years on the road this year in Onadibahak, and this just is the icing on the cake. So, for a head meal of my aguf, the Andy Town News, I guess the Christian, the the Nagriak, the I guess the Nini as far and the near her. So, to the committee of the Best in the West Awards, for a head meal of my aguf. Thank you very very much. Well, Kogarjus, Killian, August Kogarjus, and Evak. Uh, congratulations, Killian. We hope to see you out and about again soon. And congratulations to Enid Evak for really keeping spirits high uh, during the, the worst days of, of, the, of the pandemic. Uh, Tony and Brenda Coleman are songsters and superstars. When the lockdown came, they responded as only, uh, only musicians can. Three nights a week, they ran a disco online to really keep people together, keep people's spirits up. Uh, and as well as that, they ran a fancy dress party. I don't know why I didn't hear about these things at the time, but we know these brought great comfort to people, great support to people, uh, wonderful for people who felt isolated or alone, that they were able to, to, to plug into this community that Tony and Brenda built. Uh, so we also are naming them tonight as heroes of the pandemic. And earlier today, they picked up their award from Sean McGreevy from the Glider from TransLink. So this is what they had to say. Congratulations to community heroes Tony and Brenda Coleman. Okay, a big thanks to everybody in the insulation group that behind our backs had voted for us. This is, came as a, a wonderful surprise to me and Brenda, Dantman and Kiva. Big thanks to you as all once again, and special thanks going out to Martine who started the secret isolation group behind our backs, and Dee, and also Michelle and Corp. Uh, it's a wonderful group to have. We're so proud of you as all, and we'll keep this going and keep the spirits up and keep that positive. As of mental health attitude going with you all. God bless you all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Tony and Brenda. We are very proud of you, and we hope you continue to, to prosper in the time ahead and keep people's spirits high. Um, you saw earlier tonight, you saw the cavemen, and the cavemen are a very special uh, music uh, group from West Belfast. And while they didn't win an award earlier on, they do win an award as being champions of the fight back against the pandemic. And what the cavemen did was they went to the car parks of the care homes and the nursing homes. And you remember, especially during the surge, that relatives weren't allowed into the care homes, mm. uh, visitors weren't allowed in. There was a lot of fear about, there was a lot of anxiety. 
uh, and they went to the car parks and entertained and brought some relief, not only to the residents, of course, but also to the staff. And the cavemen had a nice line. They said, you know, at our age, we're not that far off car homes ourselves. So I know that's a joke, but Jerry Meehan accepted his award earlier, to, earlier today from Sean McGreevy of the Glider. And this is what Jerry had to say. Congratulations to Community Heroes, the cavemen. So I'd like to thank uh, everybody that voted for us. It's been a great pleasure for us as a caveman to play in the nursing homes, um, uh, bringing a bit of happiness to both the staff and the residents. <laughs> uh, so it's it's a pleasure and it's an honour to accept this award from the Honours Town News. So thank you to the people of West Belfast. Well done, Jerry. And the reality is the cavemen are back out again playing at the car homes because you know, of course, there's been another shutdown, very important uh, for the health of the residents of, of our, our car homes. So the cavemen are again this weekend entertaining residents and staff alike. Our last uh, Heroes of the Pandemic Award goes to one of the, the greatest community organisations in all of West Belfast. It's been represented a bit tonight. That's the, the Colin area and the Colin partnership and all the great activity that happens, Twinbrook, Poglass and Dunmurray and Mount Eagles and other places. And when the pandemic hit, the uh, Colin community groups got together and they ran a food bank. They made sure that there was a relief parcel going out every week uh, to the most vulnerable in our community. So anybody who was isolated, vulnerable, alone, they, they got a call from the Colin Food Bank Collective. They got a very welcome relief parcel each week. And their, for their endeavours, for stepping up, uh, for making sure that when the community was in, in need that they responded positively, we also have made the Colin Food Bank Collective a hero of the pandemic. And earlier today we spoke to uh, Joe Duff and Laura when they picked up their award from Sean McGreevy of the Glider. Congratulations to Community Heroes, Colin Food Bank Collective. On behalf of all of the community organisations and the wider Colin community, I'd like to say firstly a massive thanks to Translink for sponsoring this award and to you, the people of the Colin area and beyond, who have supported us throughout the last 68 months and our community initiatives where we were able to deliver food and bring gas and electric to those most need and most vulnerable. Without your help, we would not have been able to do this and we look forward to continuing on your support support should be going to a second wave. Thanks very much. Ko Garja has slash na lecha a leg asan over eight. Uh Rinchit Lillian Napandema I can just special to tell you in Octagus Shinawell Harja Tasu looking Gumimwich Lichela Arish in Yavila Agasa Fihe Ahien. A Kajishin Fikimich Slan Agus Banacht Ogovanacht Ko Garja has Lakach Denya a Malu Agus Lakach Denya a Haifota uh, da Skyh and Yeher Amlena August. A freaky much an octave less Skyh and Hyoil, O clan of the integrate the Linda Pandema. We're going to leave you tonight with this best of the West with a family who proved that they really are the heart of their community during the pandemic. This is a fantastic musical uh, insert now from Clan Vicori. Ihawai. <laughs> A 
Welcome to Niovac. For over 60 years, we've been adapting to the changing world of business, and we're not going to stop now. We make visual virtual so that your audience can have an immersive experience from the comfort of their home or office. With a brand new state of the art visual conferencing studio, we're compliant with current regulations without compromising on interaction. Against an HD LED backdrop, live video with 4K cameras, and studio lighting that will bring your event to life. Invite a small audience or a selection of board members and make your online event truly hybrid. Our extensive facilities can handle audiences from 5 to 30 while still complying with current regulations. Let our professional technicians, latest broadcast equipment and technology enhance your online user experience like no other. Years spent gigging on the road has put Niavac in the unrivaled position of being able to bring this experience to your own premises. Whether it be in a virtual boardroom setup or a full studio in your warehouse or factory floor, our team of highly skilled installation and AV experts will be on hand every step of the way. You can direct the camera view, control the microphones and speak to people from all over the world. In one room, stream to viewers at home. You can interact with attendees who have dialed in and spark conversations with your guests, all from one spot. And we can even showcase live music events. Our experienced audio engineers who have toured the world with some of the top acts from the UK and Americas are now available to lend their experience and talents to your next event. At Niavac, we just don't talk the talk. We stay ahead of the curve, allowing you to do the same. Let's make visual virtual and keep everyone connected.